incline plane with tension and pulleys. There's only two left. There's this one, and there's an incline plane with kinematics, or just anything with kinematics. So second last incline plane. Let's draw the situation out. First of all, it's an incline plane, except this time, at the edge of that incline plane, you're going to have a pulley. You're going to have an object with a mass. You're going to go around that object with another mass. This will be 9 kilograms. This will be 15 kilograms. And let's see, I'm going to tell you that your coefficient of friction is 0 0.25, and you will be asked to find acceleration and tension. Only one rope, so you're just finding one tension, and the acceleration, you're going to go either clockwise or counterclockwise with your final answer. And this will be 20 degrees. Let's draw out all our information. This is pulling down with a force due to gravity. This one, we've got a force due to gravity. We've got an Fy. We've got an Fx. Our Fy becomes this Fn. And this Fx comes here, Fx. So let's see, first thing I'd like to do here is let's get this thing into a linear position. And then I'll be able to make some decisions. Okay, so that's my 9. There's my rope connecting it to my 15. This is my Fg. This is my Fx. Now what I need to do as I don't know where to put my force of friction. Well, I, I can only put on the 9, but I don't know if it's pointing right or left because I have to figure out if Fx is bigger or smaller than Fg. So I'm just going to do that over here real quick. Force to gravity, 15 times 10. That's 150 newtons. That's pretty big. I'm sure that's going to be bigger than my Fx, which is right here. That's 20 degrees. That's, op okay, so that's sine, so that's going to be 90 sine 20, yeah, 30.7 newtons. So now I know that it's pulling to the right, so my overall direction is right, which means that my frictional force is going to be to the left. Okay, that's kind of important. We haven't done anything yet, we just figured out which direction friction goes, which is what's tough about these. Second thing, we're going to do our sum of forces statement. It's going to the right, so I'm going to stick with right being my positive. So I'm going to say Fg, I'm going to add that to my negative Fx, which is going to add to my negative Ff, equals mass times acceleration. It's starting to all look the same now, hey? We've, how many times have we done this? Force due to gravity, I already figured that out. It's 150. Subtract that from my Fx, which I just figured out, 30.7. I'm subtract that from my force of friction, which is going to be mu times Fn. My mass is 9 plus 15, and I'm trying to find my acceleration, so I don't know it. 150 minus 30.7 minus 0 0.25. My normal force is going to be 90 cosine of 20 equals 24A. One big solving for, so I'm going to get 150 minus 30.7 minus 0 0.25, 90 cosine of 20, all over top of 24. So when everything's said and done, I have an acceleration 4.08 meters per second squared. And now look what it's doing on our original here. It's going clockwise. So let's just say clock wise. There. That's your general acceleration. Third thing, we're going to find tension now. Okay, where is my tension? My tension's on the only thing that has tension, which is that string right there. I'm going to find it for just this section here. I don't care about the 15 or the Fg, but I do care about the tension, Fx, and my force of friction. Right is positive, so when I do my sum of forces, I'm going to say tension plus minus Fx plus minus Ff is equal to mass times acceleration. Let's see here. Tension, I don't know. 
FX I found a, long, a while ago, that's 30.7 minus my force of friction, which I never did actually calculate, so I'll just write it out again like that. 0.25, 90, cosine of 20 equals my mass is for what's on the tension, which is 9. My acceleration I just found is 4.08. So, solving this all out for tension, I get, what do I get? Well, I'm not going to rewrite it, I'm just going to solve it. I get 88.6 newtons. There you go, so that's 88.6 newtons, which means that the tension on all these ropes is 88.6 newtons. There you go. Incline plane with pulleys.